Hey, now that we're done with the important stuff, maybe we can take a crack at these. Crafty Goblin's Loot. That's from the Princess and the Two Thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake, which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. And you probably remember what the goblins stole in that story, huh? Uh...
Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit? I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. Some flour for the cake, maybe? Maybe not. Did they steal candy? Actually, I'm not sure. What if they took some spoons? That's it. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite and then one day it just disappeared. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite, and then one day it just disappeared. The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? Why don't we open up the book and check?
Some roses, maybe? Wait. Huh. Fresh caught salmon? A newly bloomed bluebell? A handful of ripe berries? Nice. Man, he had it bad. Just couldn't let go. Crafty goblins good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. They broke open the beehive for the bear. They removed a thorn from the frog's back. They had to give nuts to the muskrat. Wait. They hugged the princess when she was crying. They helped fix the beaver dam. Actually, I'm not sure. They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. They helped fix the beaver dam. Huh. They had to give nuts to the muskrat. Or not. Wait. They removed a thorn from the frog's back.
Maybe not. They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. Maybe not. Wait. Nailed it. Our lives would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. The very old beaver's repair list. That's the story where the princess is- Huh, she fixed the roof shingles. She slapped the post with her tail to write it. She turned the power back on. She repaired the water leak. She fixed the planks that were blown off the walls. Maybe not. Actually, I'm not sure. All right. Damn, that must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah, he, um, he doesn't really like to talk about her. I wish she just explained all this to us. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? I guess we could stay a little longer if you think there's more to find. Go. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite, and then one day it just disappeared. Our lives would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. What are we waiting for? I want to know who was here that night. Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with. Tom? Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. It had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she, she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. Ugh. What should we do now? Yeah, call him out here and what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. 
Tom? It's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I mean, I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Kids, listen. You're our father. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. And you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Well, maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was going to blow up in my face. I had to do something. You were here that night. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I know it wasn't my best moment, but she threatened my life. So you just decided to let her drown? I didn't decide anything. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. And by the time I got to town, Brown was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. He's got to fix the mess he made, one way or another. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want, as long as none of this gets out. Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. This would kill her. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... that's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? Uh, 
I... But she... She never said anything. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. And you just couldn't risk being there when it happened. Even though it meant leaving her to raise kids out here all by herself. None of this would have happened if you'd manned the fuck up! I didn't have a choice. I know it shouldn't have happened. But... Well... Your mother was... A very pretty woman. And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it, but I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Mary and Minnie died. That night, I came out here because I was worried about your mother. No! No way! You're a fucking liar! I saw what I saw. Ugh! You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her! Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. 
His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. Don't touch her. You know I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone. And never come back! Allie, you okay? He didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all these nightmares about that night, and they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. She had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun, on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? I guess it's possible. Fuck. I, I don't know. And we're never gonna know the truth, are we? Because the second you walk away from something, that's it. Yeah. I guess at this point, you just 
have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it, okay? to kill you! face being separated from our kids again, and the only way to make sure that never happened was for all of us to go together. I know it in my heart. I saved you. I saved us. I know. You did the right thing. You want to go back inside? Hey, peep what I just found downstairs. What do you think? A little bit aged well, or just gone bad? Cheers, I guess. I can't believe Tom thought we'd buy that story. And that I almost did. Yeah, I still can't believe he and Mary Ann. What the hell did she see in him? She was probably just really, really lonely after she lost Leo. I could never get that lonely. Listen, with everything that's been going on, it got me thinking about our voice. Like, that maybe we should stop using it. What? I just don't trust it, and I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But... I really want to keep what makes us, us.
The Mad Hunter was forced to remain below the Laden Hag, but she did not kill him, because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted what do you the day think? he would emerge. Brothers and sisters. To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter. Hey, it's me. Hey, everything okay? Oh, everything's fine. I just came back from shopping and thought I'd call. Huh. Well, it's good to hear your voice. What's going on? I could use a good kick in the pants. I've been down and write a new story, but I keep putting it off. A new story for the Book of Goblins? Yeah, I guess a sort of sequel. That's awesome. I'd love to find out what happens to those two. <laughs> Thanks. That's what I needed to hear. How's life in the big city? Juno is cool. Cool? Okay, I'm a convert. Everyone at the JCE has been so welcoming, and I went to a march last week. Look at you, Mr. Socialite. I could use a good kick in the pants. I've been trying to sit down and write a new story, but I keep putting it off. A new story for the Book of Goblins? Yeah, I guess a sort of sequel. That's awesome. I'd love to find out what happens to those two. <laughs> Thanks. That's what I needed to hear. Did you get my text about Tom losing the election? <laughs> oh yeah. Can't say I'm surprised. Or sorry. Or anything. Fuck that guy. Ooh, speaking of telling Tom to fuck off, Tessa left him. <laughs> Finally, God. I really hope she told him to stuff it. <laughs> In the name of the father. 
Bye bye. Did you get my text about Tom losing the election? <laughs> oh yeah. Can't say I'm surprised. Or sorry. Or anything. Fuck that guy. Ooh, speaking of telling Tom to fuck off, Tessa left him. <laughs> Finally, God. I really hope she told him to stuff it. <laughs> In the name of the father. Bye bye Did you get my text about Tom losing the election? <laughs> oh yeah. Can't say I'm surprised. Or sorry. Or anything. Fuck that guy. Ooh, speaking of telling Tom to fuck off, Tessa left him. <laughs> Finally, God. I really hope she told him to stuff it. <laughs> In the name of the father. Bye bye All right, time for me to get going. Okay, but real quick, everything good with the house? Yeah, I'm starting to make it mine. To tame it, if you will. You think you made the right call staying? Yeah, I think so. Even after everything. This feels like where I need to be right now. Maybe that's a good thing to write about then. You know what? That's not a bad idea, actually. Okay, but you better give me credit if you do. Will do. Love you. Love you too, sis. I can't believe Antonio convinced Michael to adopt a cat. Or a fur tyrant, as he calls them. Really love having to drive that 20 extra miles for groceries, but better that than the awkwardness of going to the Vecchi's. Really love having to drive that 20 extra miles for groceries, but better that than the awkwardness of going to the Vecchi's. Hey, Allison. Guess you're not answering your landline either. Just wanted to check in and see if we're still on for dinner tomorrow. I'm making my special Eddie-licious fish tacos. Oh, uh, sorry, gotta run. Uh, Mayor Scrooge just walked in my office. Love you, little moose. Hey, princess. Well, um, I'm doing like you asked and calling ahead to let you know I'm on my way out to place that door. So, um, that's up. See you soon. I guess that's as close as she'll ever get to divorcing him.
Huh. Do I almost feel bad for Tom? Nope.
to work. Come on, Allison. You got this, sis. <laughs> Let's hope. friend? What is that? The princess frowned, for she realized that the two tiny thieves were as lonely as she was. A friend is someone you love and care for. Someone you would never hurt. Once upon a time, in an ancient and deep forest, there lived a solitary goblin in a big wooden house. That goblin had not always been so solitary. She had a twin, and when they were younger, they were inseparable. Together, they rescued princesses and outsmarted ice trolls and even trapped a mad hunter. But as she grew older, the goblin sister decided that she'd had enough of adventures. So while her brother went out to explore the world, she stayed behind as guardian of the big wooden house. For it is not on all of us to adventure. Some must stay behind to tell the story and to hold shelter for those who may come back and those who never left.
Okay. You can do this. Sam. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? I, um, I was just driving by and wanted to see how you were doing. I heard there was some trouble on the docks. There's always trouble on the docks. 